So if you're applying for the spring 2025 intake, then start your visa interview preparation with this video. I'm going to discuss five main factors which you need to prepare. These were the factors which visa officers focused heavily in the fall 2024 intake and we are predicting that it is going to continue for spring intake as well. Keep on watching. So I worked with many students for fall 2024 intake and helped them with their DS-160 forms, answer structuring and mock. We were able to see good number of approvals. Many of them had a prior rejection as well. So this video is coming from the experience of working directly with the students and also we thoroughly analyzed all the interviews that were being shared in the various telegram groups. So basis of that, here are five factors you need to focus on. Let's get started. Actually, hold on. Before I start, I have one more thing to tell you. So we have a dedicated WhatsApp group for spring 2025 intake. In fact, we had one for the fall intake as well. And that group was amazing. Students were able to connect with each other, help each other out in the visa interview. And of course, we were also able to share a lot of insights and useful tips with them. So we have gone ahead and created a similar one for spring 2025. The group is already active. So if you are giving your visa interview in October, November, December or January, you need to be a part of this group. Click the link right here. It's absolutely free to join and join this group today itself. So let me begin with trend number one, focus on university. This is the biggest trend of fall 2024. The visa interviews focused heavily on university and this was true across all the consulates in India. It isn't that, okay, Mumbai was focusing on university or Chennai was focusing on university. Irrespective of the consulate, Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Hyderabad, Kolkata, all the consulates focused heavily on university. In fact, the university ranking not only determined the approval rate, but also the style of the interview. Now, this is really interesting. When we analyzed, we saw that when a student had a good ranked university, the interviews were relatively shorter, whereas the students who had an average or a low ranked university, the interviews were longer, more questions were asked to the student, which means that if your university national ranking is about 250, then you need to be really well prepared for all the other aspects of your profile, which means your education, your work experience, funding, reason for doing the master, home ties, and of course, the DS-160 form. All this needs to be top-notch, needs to be really well done so that the visa officer does not find any other reason to reject and you are able to maximize your chance of visa approval. There's another important trend that we noticed with respect to the university and this is highly important. If at all there is one thing that you should take away from this video, that is this. The traditional way of answering why this university is not working anymore. Yes, the way of answering why this university, wherein you collect facts, you collect information about the university is just not working anymore. So last year we had uploaded a video on how to answer why this university and in this video we explained a research based method where you could collect unique facts about the university and make sure that these facts are all relevant to you. Well, this structure worked great for last year but in fall 2024 we noticed that why this university visa officers are looking at something else. Probably they already know that you are going to do your research, you are going to find out all this information. So what they were looking for is a much shorter answer which didn't go into too many factual details yet it felt personal and felt customized to your own profile. So the way you structure your answer why this university needs to change. In fact, we are going to bring an updated video on this. This is going to be the next video in this series where we are going to explain how you can frame your answer for why this university. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. So before we go ahead, let's take a quick minute to admire the background behind me. It's the fall season, the colors are changing, the trees are just changing color and everything looks absolutely beautiful. Now, when we analyzed the interview, we essentially saw that technical questions come from four different fields. The first one was the academics, that means from your bachelor's or your master's. Second was from your work experience. Third was from the course in US itself. And fourth, and this was a new part, is the future potential. That means visa officers ask questions about what was the future scope of your field, what is the latest development. They even ask for examples of something new or something exciting that you have read in your field. So all of this goes on to show that you need to have a proper knowledge about your domain and when you prepare technical questions, there are two things that you should know. One is of course how to explain that particular topic and second is having examples. So let's say that you are preparing for public health. Now you should be able to explain what is public health, how is public health relevant in India and also have examples of some public health policies or some latest developments in public health. We have also prepared an embassy-wise question bank for you and this covers all the questions that were asked across consulates in India by location. So you can find a separate question bank for Delhi, for Mumbai, for Chennai and so on. 
The link for this is right below in the description box. It's a free PDF, so make sure to download it and study from it. The third trend that we noticed for fall 2024, and I again feel that this is going to continue in spring season as well, is shorter interviews. So we saw that visa officers kept the interviews short. They were either quickly approving the visa or quickly rejecting the visa. Now, in such a circumstance, there are two things which are highly critical. Number one is your DS-160 form. So you need to make sure that your DS-160 form is filled really well. Your profile, that means your academic, your work experience, if you have any gap, all of this is well explained. And if you have a prior refusal, then the reason for refusal also becomes critical because that box needs to bring out what were the positives in your profile that got missed and what are the things that visa officer should look at you now. So that's the one DS-160 form. And the second is the first few answers. Now, if the interview is going to be short itself, and now imagine that you're just going to be asked, let's say three or four questions. What does that mean? That means that the first and the second question are really, really critical and you need to be prepared. You need to get it spot on. So you need to know what are the different ways in which the interview can start and have an answer structured and prepared so that you're able to speak calmly and confidently. And honestly, this doesn't happen on its own. It needs preparation. So if you're looking for a detailed prep, do reach out. We can help you right from your DS-160 form to answer structuring to mock. So in fact, our main flagship program, seven day program does this, right from understanding your profile, filling your DS-160 form, answer structuring and multiple mocks. We take care of all of it. We have already started seven day program for many of the students of spring 2025. So if you have got your visa slot and you want a stress-free way to prepare, do check the link in the description box. If you're still here, still watching the video, do give this a thumbs up. So comment below which university you're going to and let me know. And I'm really curious to know what are the admits that you guys have got for the spring intake. The fourth trend that we are predicting for the spring intake is document verification. Now documents are usually not asked in US visa interview, but in fall intake, there were quite a few number of interviews where visa officer asked for documents. These documents were mainly asked for internships, work experience and academics. And I think the reason is in the last couple of years, there have been quite a number of cases where there have been, you know, misuse of the documents and fake certificates, fake academic documents especially have been used. So this time they did a lot of random checks. And in fact, a lot of students were caught in a situation where the documents were not found to be genuine. So you need to be extra cautious. You need to make sure that whatever information you're putting in the DS-160 form, and in the interview, you have proper documentation for it and you don't go with anything for which you don't have a proof. And the same thing applies to funding as well. That if you're going to talk about certain number of funds, uh, whether it is in bank account or in the form of investments or loan, make sure that you are able to support it with proper documentation. And this brings us to our fifth trend. And the fifth trend which we are predicting for spring 25 intake is the importance of dressing well and confidence. Well, I've always said it, you need to dress well for visa interview. You need to be formally dressed. In fact, we have an entire video which explains in detail what you should wear for your F1 visa interview. And there's a separate, uh, you know, a list of things that you can wear for boys and girls. But I saw this reinforced so very well in the fall 24 intake. We saw that visa officers did pay a lot of attention to grooming, to confidence, to how you presented. Many students told us that when they were standing in the line, the visa officer actually looked up looked at them, glanced, and then went back to their screen. So all of this reiterates that preparing the answers plus preparing yourself, how you appear in the interview is equally important. And in fact, I have a short snippet to share with you. So listen to this short snippet by a, a student who shares what he observed when he was inside the embassy. I observed it when I was standing in five or ten line. I thought that the assessment was that the people who were rejected were inefficient because of the case officer. Because I would say that the dressing was very bad. So, you should have to do dressing in a sense. Absolutely. Even if you dressing is not right. I would say that the dressing is not right. The dressing is not right. कि मैं तो खुद भी था कि क्या हो रहा है मतलब बहुत अजीब ये चीज था और दूसरी पर्सनालिटी अपनी आपको ड्रेसिंग सही रखें आप अपनी और कॉन्फिडेंटली बोलें जो वो कह रहा है उसको बस उतना ही जवाब दें ज़्यादा ज़्यादा नहीं करें लैब्रेट नहीं करें उसे एक्सेज़रेट ना करें चीजों को तो मुझे ये लगा so these are the trends expected for the spring 25 intake. 
focus on university, shorter interviews, technical questions, document verification and an increasing need to be confident. Well, confidence comes with preparation, so do prepare well. Check all the links in the description box. There are free as well as paid resources which you can utilize to give your max and give you 100% for the visa interview. If you're giving the interview for the first time, I would say this is a golden chance because getting approval the first time is the easiest. So make sure that you are really well prepared and you smash this attempt. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. You can also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shachi.mal. And like I said, stay tuned for the next video in the series because we are going to be discussing the updated framework and some sample answers for why this university. I'll see you in the next one. Signing off from a beautiful sunny day in London. Bye.